Praise the Lord, everyone. Um, welcome to the God Seller 7 and Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with Yay. Brother Dan's block is left at Brother Dan's prophecy that he just got a little bit ago. So join me in the King James Version Bible. Um, I'm going to be in the book of Matthew. <coughs> um, let's see. Um, chapter, uh, uh, chapter 3, let's see, verse 12. Whose fan it in it, his hand and he will thoroughly purge this floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. All right, that's all I'm doing. So um, if you guys are around here for a while, you know Brother Dan was having a block, and usually if you have stress, I'm going to tell you, if you have stress and stuff, you, you can't hear. That's how it works. So now I have this in my phone. He just uh, messaged it to me a little while ago. So praise God, he got the block lifted. Um, let's see, today is um, December 22nd, uh, 2021. I called thee and you listened. I spoke to thee and you obeyed. My glory surrounds thee and fills this room. Well, I can feel the, the Holy Spirit as soon as he said that. I have watched men's abomination in my own eyes, with my own eyes. I have sent my messengers and prophets to warn thee. You are a stiff-necked people. Soon I shall go silent. Then my judgment shall cover the land. I shall not incline my ear to your cries for mercy. The heaven shall erupt in fire, and I, will, I shall sweep clean the threshing floor. Will you be found on the Father's side? The choice is yours. Eternal life or eternal damnation. Whoa, right straight to the point here. Okay, now what I found interesting in this is if you listen to mine yesterday, um, I'm pretty sure in mine it says something about going silent. Let me look back up here. I shall go silent, <clears throat> then my judgment. Now, is that going to be the half an hour of silence? It's possible. That's what I thought of as soon as I heard this. Okay, don't want to start rambling here. <clears throat> so, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, I have the allergies bad. This is it. We're at the end. Um, every prophecy, all, I'm going to say over a thousand prophecies, Brother Dan and I uh, have up here since 2011. Um, pretty much end with repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. He's coming back. People are still not turning to him and repenting from their evil ways. This is why we're still here saying this. You're not repent. Well, I'm not saying you, but many are. But many are not repenting from their sin, turning from it. I'm calling on him, humbling yourself. Yes, we're all sinners. Uh, and we're, I always, when I pray, I say, I know I'm a, I'm a filthy rag standing before you. Thank you for, for taking me and taking me in and thank you, for you, thank you for saving me. This is what I pray. You must do this. Um, every day, repent from your sins. Even I even repent from sins if I don't even know I have a sin out there. I repent for anything I don't remember. How about that? You need to do this. Today could be your last day, just like when I had the stroke. Now, I want to say welcome and hi to all of our new friends and subscribers. I think over the last uh, few weeks, we got three or 400 more new people. So I had a major stroke back in, uh, let's see, um, October 2015. And the prognosis was pretty much I was going to die. I wasn't supposed to make that, that December. Um, I was paralyzed, um, partially blind, um, I couldn't really speak, um, and then he gave me this amazing miracle. You need to look at the playlist, this Barbara's Stroke Recovery. So if you're discouraged or sad or depressed, you need to look at that playlist. He's listening to our prayers. Look at the Holy Spirit on me. He's answering prayers. I had wonderful news with my friend Christina this morning. Now, I put a, a prayer request up everywhere on all the Facebook pages, I, and I think I mentioned it in the video yesterday. Um, she was um, having COVID, um, she had pneumonia with it, she was um, put in the hospital, of course, on the ventilator, and she wasn't really doing well, and I put a notice everywhere that we need a miracle. This is how God works. He's been answering my prayers. I can't believe it. Don't give up. Don't stop praying. He's been answering my prayers. So first thing, I looked at the um, her page this morning, and her son put a message up there. I could have danced around the entire condo when I looked at the message. It said she's starting to recover. They were ready to be uh, making end-of-life plans for her. Now she's recovering. Imagine this. What an amazing story. What an amazing God we have. Don't give up. Keep praying. Don't, don't um, think he's not listening. He is. He's answering every day. 
he's waiting on you. This is how he works. He's waiting on you. He's calling you. He's tugging on you. You need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ to be in the kingdom. Um, what does this prophecy say? How does he put it here? I mean, I love the way he speaks to us. Okay, he's pretty much saying, um, will you be found on, on the Father's side? This, he has this in other prophecies. The choice is yours. Now, I have that um, um, in uh, more than one of my eternal life or eternal damnation. He tells you straight up what you need to do um, to belong with him, to go to the kingdom. He tells you everything. You must be born again. Get a Bible. Read it front to back. Um, don't just sit here. And like I said, I had that stroke. I could have been um, in hell if I was not prepared for what was going on. Get your house in order. I did it every day. I prayed and, and repented my sins. Um, I did it every single day. You need to do this. Tonight could be your last breath. Do you know tomorrow, if tonight's your last breath, are you going to heaven? Are you going to be with Jesus for eternity? This is the bottom line here. This is why we're here. We're calling you to repent. Do you understand? Do you understand the urgency of this? Every prophecy is leading up to some sort of major event. I pretty much have a, a, an idea of what it's going to be. Um, and then there's going to be massive chaos, and, and I have the prophecy saying it, massive chaos, mayhem, throughout the whole world, not just in the United States, everywhere, through the whole world. We're not the only ones under judgment. All the prophecies say pretty much the countries of the world, we're all pretty much in the same boat. We're all sinners. This is why you need to confess your sin. Uh, it says confess your sin one to another. You need to do this. And I'll even add, throw this in. There's only one mediator between God and man, and that is Jesus Christ. Not another person. Nobody's going to save you. You have to do it yourself. All right, I'm starting to ramble. Okay, so get a Bible. Join a Bible study if you don't understand. Um, thanking everyone again for um, all of the uh, encouraging comments under the video. Um, thank you for um, all of the transcriptions in the other languages. Um, thank you, everyone, especially that uh, helps support our ministry financially so we can help other people, especially now. I'm seeing um, pictures of homeless people. It's horrible. I feel so bad. And now the weather is going to probably turn cold. And, and I know there's homeless people right near me um, down by the bridge here. Please make yourself ready. He's coming back. Make yourself ready. Get ready. Are you the bride of Christ? Are you? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you ready? This is the bottom line. Repent daily and have a, a plan with Jesus Christ on the top of your list. So I might as well throw in, also have an emergency plan because we know there's disaster coming. Have an emergency plan, have some extra cash on hand, some uh, supplies on hand, have a plan with your kids if they're in school on what you're going to do, where you're going to meet, have alternate plans. I mentioned on another video, we have the walkie-talkies that I think they, they do, uh, I don't know if they do a mile or whatever, but we have walkie-talkies in the car, in the houses, we're all on the same frequency, just in case there's no um, phone lines. And that's what it made me think when um, I got the prophecy saying that everything was going to go silent. Brother Dan got it too. I have more than one thing about silencing uh, God's machines or demands machines, silencing everything. You have to have an alternate plan. Don't sit there crying when, when disaster strikes and there's no food and the stores are empty and everybody's running around. Don't wait till the last minute to have a plan. Okay, better go. So God bless you all. Let me pray first. I know people are getting their prayers answered. I absolutely, 100% know he's answering them. I get them answered almost every day. Don't give up. Don't stop praying. God the Father in heaven, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, bless me indeed, expand my territory. Keep evil and the devil away from me and my family. Let your hand be with me always, and please don't ever let me cause anyone pain or harm. Dear Lord, please, um, please pour out a blessing on all your friends and subscribers on your pages. Um, please pour out a, um, a health blessing, um, a financial blessing, um, a blessing on the marriages, a blessing on their children. Keep their children away from um, drugs and alcohol. That's what I'm going to add that in because I have that issue with my son. Um, keep their children away from, uh, how about the things online that they shouldn't be seeing, that their eyes shouldn't be seeing and their ears shouldn't be seeing. And parents, please pay attention what your kids are up to. Monitor what they're doing online. This is a very dangerous time in, on the earth and in life right now for kids. Am I missing anything? I think I covered. Oh, just make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. I'm still seeing that um, uh, we're not um, coming up in some countries. I think that's how it went. Um, there's something on them. Um, we're blocked or whatever. We're covered over. You can't see us on some countries. So, so please make sure you're still subscribed. Um, hit the notification button. And yes, um, please like and follow us on the Facebook pages. Um, 
uh, Sister Barbara Francis, um, let's see, The King is Coming, Second Coming of Christ, and let's see, what is the other one? The God Seller 7 End Time Prophecy Facebook. Uh, make sure you're, like I said, subscribe to YouTube and like and follow us there. I do put other things up there. Now I'm on a two-week vacation, uh, but since I got a prophecy yesterday and Brother Dan got one yay today and the breakthrough, um, I'm on here again today. So God bless you all. So if you don't see me on here, like I said, check in. Um, and I'm still trying to take a couple days off. Um, and then I'm going to visit my mom tomorrow. And thank you everyone that sent her a card in the mail. I got a whole big bag of them again. God bless you all and be safe. We love you guys. I hope I'm not forgetting anything else. Keep going, Barb. All right, I did it.